Hi, everybody. It is time to pray. So let's make sure we have everything that we need. I like to have a piece of paper and a crayon. Do you have what you need? Let's get started. Well, hello, everybody. I am going to start at the bottom of my paper and draw all the way to the top. You say bottom, top. Good. And now we're going to go from the left to the right. Say left, right. Here we go. One on the left, all the way to the right. And we have made our big T chart using a purple crayon. Now, I'm going to grab the blue crayon and we're going to write the word praises up on this side because we always start our prayers with praises. Those are the things that we want to tell God thank you for. It's always nice before you ask for anything to tell God thank you. And even your moms and dads too. And then on this side, we'll do prayers. That's why I'm going to write the word prayers. And then I want to draw a little picture of a heart because that reminds me to share everything that's in my heart that I want from God or if there's something else that's in my heart that I just need to get out. So praises and prayers. Let's take a look at some of these letters real quick. I want you to notice some things. One thing I want you to notice is, look here, let me use a, a kind of a greenish crayon. Look here at this blend, this first sound. Can you hear this sound? Say, pr, pr, praises. And then that same blend is over here. Pr, pr, prayers. When you have the same sound, a lot of times you'll have the same letters, but not all the time, because look at this. Now we have, do you see this AI? That makes a sound A. Praises. Prayers. Here we have two different letters A Y. Praises. And then right there, that you hear kind of a Z E S. Zez, put a square around that. And then here, errs, praises, prayers, prayers, praises and prayers. Let's get started. So what do I want to tell God thank you for? Let me think. What has happened that has made me happy? What about you? You think of something. What has happened that you can tell God thank you for? Hmm. Oh, you know what? I know what it is. I went for a swim today in a pool. So I've got a pool that I got to go swimming in today. I love to go swimming in a pool. And it looks kind of like that. It's got lots of waves inside of it. So I'm gonna do these little waves. So there's three, four, five, six, seven. And I'm just doing kind of a little curly up line. Eight nine ten little waves let me count that again one two three four five six seven eight nine ten ten waves all right so that's kind of my pool that i went swimming in and it was a lot of fun in fact i had some really cool looking goggles have you ever used goggles they have like a little line across they look sort of like glasses except for mine has like a two little straps in the back and then the goggle part is kind of thicker than regular glasses. Yeah, kind of like, kind of like that. So I had some goggles I put on while I went swimming. It was really fun. And so I'm gonna write that down. I'm gonna get my black crayon. And I'm gonna write the word goggles. G g g. What letter makes that sound? G g. You're right. A G tells me to. Make that sound. Ga ah ah. Since I since I don't know how to spell the word goggles, really, I'm gonna just say it slow and write what I hear. Goggles. G ga g g g. Goggle o o z z. Kind of sounds like a z. Goggles. Goggles. And this is a pool. Now a pool, I know how to spell. So I'm going to write P-O-O-L, just like you'd see it in a book. Pool. Goggles and a pool. So thank you, God, I got to go swimming using goggles and a pool. Amen. All right. Now 
I'm going to share, God, whatever's in my heart. Hmm. God, is there anything in my heart that I want or I need to say sorry? You know what? That's what I was thinking about today. I was thinking about something that's in my heart that's kind of making my heart ugly. Kind of like having a dark heart full of angry, angerness, anger. And so I was kind of mad at somebody today because they didn't do what I wanted and I yelled at them. So I wrote the word anger there. And so I want to tell God that I'm sorry that I yelled at somebody just because it made me mad. God doesn't want me to be mean to people. And so I guess I'm gonna draw a picture of, of me saying, of me yelling. Let me see. I'm gonna draw two eyes. And my mouth was kind of open like I was yelling. Kind of nose. And this is it. I'm going to make my eyebrows look like that going down. You make eyebrows going down, you look angry. And then I'll have lines like this, like I'm yelling. Ah! And so I'm going to write the word yelling. Y, y, L, ing. Ooh, I know the three letters that make that sound. Yelling. So. God, have you, have you, I'm sorry that I was yelling at someone because I was so angry, angry. That's interesting, angry. I actually spell angry. Dude, I totally forget. I don't really remember how to spell angry, that's funny. So if you don't know how to spell it, you write what it sounds, and then you write it the way it sounds. Angry. <laughs> Angry? That's silly. But God, I pray that you will forgive me for yelling at somebody that you love. Sometimes, you know, guys, that's why Jesus came. The Bible says that Jesus came to forgive us of our sin. In fact, the Bible says that his blood covers our sin. So it's kind of like our heart that's full of anger when we yell and do mean things. Jesus covers it up with his heart that's bigger than ours. So he can forgive us of our sin. That's what happens. When we accept Jesus into our heart, what we're really doing is we're accepting that he forgives us when we do wrong. So God, thank you for that, for forgiving me of getting mad, getting angry, and yelling. In Jesus' name, amen? Amen. Bye!